12 years after leaving Manchester United for Real Madrid, he's back with United. The club is paying $17.7 million and $9.4 million in add-ons to Juventus. Ronaldo informed Juventus that he wanted out and it appeared that he might sign with rival Manchester City, but instead he's headed back to Old Trafford. For more, let's bring in our reporter for all things Manchester, Mark Ogden, who joins us now. So, Mark, uh, what led to this change of heart? Well, you know, Man United don't like Man City getting the upper hand in Manchester on the pitch or off the pitch. And when they realised on Thursday that Ronaldo could be going to Man City, you know, Pep Guardiola, the city coach, was very keen to get it done. United made a move. Now, I've been told that United were told as early as June that Ronaldo could be available. Back then, they made it clear that they were interested. So something's changed. It was the reality that they just really couldn't let Ronaldo go to Man City because he's such an iconic player in Man United's history that to stop Man City getting the player, to add a great player to Oliver and Solskjaer's squad, it was a win-win for Man United. So what kind of external pressures were involved in this change of heart? Well, th there was a lot of noise, certainly on social media on Thursday when it became clear from the United fans, when it became clear that Ronaldo might be going to City. A lot of United fans are horrified. And, you know, there was, there was even pictures of some United fans burning Ronaldo's shirt. So that, that shows you the emotion that was involved. And I think from the, the perspective at United, the owners, the Glazer family, this would have been a huge, huge own goal for the Glazers. From Ronaldo's perspective, there were outside pressures on Ronaldo too, in the sense that a lot of his former teammates from when he was at United, they were making calls to him, text messages, WhatsApp, as, as early as like one o'clock in the morning, Friday, UK time, saying to him, you cannot go to Man City, you cannot tarnish your reputation, your legacy. And I think it actually got to Ronaldo, it got to his heartstrings. And by Friday morning, he made it clear to his agent, George Mendes, that no, he wants to go back to Man United and not Man City. In this uh, season of change, we saw what happened in Paris. Uh, how's the fit now for Ronaldo and United in terms of uh, keeping them in the mix as Premier League contenders and, and Champions League contenders? Yeah, well, before Ronaldo back, went back to United, they, they were still some way short, I believe, of, of challenging for the Premier League. You know, I think this actually makes the difference. It is, this is a game-changing signing for Man United. Having Ronaldo back, the goals he can bring, it makes them a contender. I still think Man City have got the best squad, but United are a contender again to win the Premier League and to win the Champions League, and that is because they've signed Ronaldo. All right, Mark Ogden, our man for all things Manchester. We appreciate the time and the information, Mark. Cheers, Tom. Uh, more on the odds coming up in just a minute. First, let's look back at some of his best moments from his first time around with Manchester United, starting at the beginning, Halloween of 2003. Ronaldo with his first goal with United off a free kick against Portsmouth, and the legend was just beginning. 2008, it was a very good year. Started in January against Newcastle United. Ronaldo records his first and currently only had trick in Premier League play. First goal off a free kick. Second goal, he's wide open on a run inside the box. Not going to miss that one. And his third goal, the result of a beautiful cutback onto his left foot for the goal. United pours it on in that one. It was a 6-0 final score. March of 2008, Ronaldo scores two goals against Bolton Wanderers. First off a ball that bounced free around the box. And the second off a free kick. His 33rd goal of the season at the time in all competitions pushed him ahead of George Best for the franchise record for goals by a midfielder in a season. Get another look at that one. And then November 15, 2008. Final season with the club against Stoke City. Another rocket of a free kick for club goal number 100 across all competitions. Finished his time in Manchester with 118 goals across all competitions and now there are more to come as he rejoins the squad. At 36 years old, his transfer caused significant line movement in Vegas. Manchester United's odds to win the Premier League move somewhat, but their Champions League odds move significantly from 14 to 1 to 9 to 1 at Caesar Sportsbook. Ronaldo's won five Champions League titles and is the all-time leading scorer in that competition.